We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Hey, Virginia. Did you know the law protects patients from surprise medical bills? Insurance companies and hospitals post cost information online. You can request a good faith estimate three days ahead of hospital care. Know your rights as a health care consumer. Visit ControlYourCare.com to learn more about patient-focused health care laws. ControlYourCare.com can help empower your health care decisions. Paid for by the Virginia Hospital and Health Care Association. Terry and the Pirates. Fighting through the swirling snow, bitter cold and darkness, Terry and Pat Ryan finally came upon a cluster of houses and shacks. At the largest of these, they met the elderly Dr. Minton and his wife and asked for help for April, Burma, Jude, and the driver who remained back in the truck. Then Pat went to a nearby stable and was forced into a fight before he could get a team of horses and a sled. Driving back to the little house, he picked up the doctor, and together they started out along the road for the truck. We'll join them on today's transcribed adventure in just a moment. Terry and the Pirates is brought to you by the makers of Libby's Tomato Juice. One of Libby's hundred famous foods. Well, boys and girls, here we are practically at deadline for the Terry Scope offer. Yes, tonight's the last night I'll be telling you about it, because the offer expires tomorrow at midnight. Now, if you want a Terry Scope, and I'm mighty sure you do, just mail your order before midnight tomorrow. So, if you haven't already got your order in, do this right away. Ask your mother if you can't run over to the store right after the program and get a can of Libby's tomato juice and one of Libby's pineapple juice. You need those two labels to get that Terry Scope with its eight super special features. The Terry Scope that teaches you the secret Chinese code and the Morse code and how to flash messages at night. The Terry Scope that brings you two exciting new games and a tricky picture of Big Stoop. All that... Besides being a real periscope that will let you see around corners and over tall fences. So get those two Libby's labels. One from a can of tomato juice and one from Libby's pineapple juice. On the back of one of them, print your full name, address, and age. Then mail the labels with just one dime to Terry in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. You got that? Terry in care of Libby's. L-I-B-B-Y-S in Chicago. And be sure you get your order in the mail before midnight tomorrow. Now, believe me, kids, this Terry Scope is worth making a real effort to get. Fact is, you're going to be pretty sorry and disappointed if you let tomorrow slip by without sending for your Terry Scope. And remember, the suggestion I made yesterday about giving away some Terry Scopes for Christmas? Stop to think about it. And you'll agree that's a peach of an idea. Any of your pals would be thrilled to get a Terry Scope. Boys or girls, young kids or older ones, they'll all get a kick out of a Terry Scope special feature. So start the minute the show is over to track down those Libby's labels you'll need. I wouldn't be surprised if you'll find that they're in your house already. You've probably asked your mother to get the delicious Libby's tomato juice and Hawaiian pineapple juice we told you about on this program. And she may very well have some in the pantry or the icebox. So go look right after the show. And if the cans of juices aren't there, see if you can't run out and buy some. And send for your Terry Scope tonight. Mail your labels and dime with your full name and address and age to Terry in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. Midnight tomorrow is your very last chance. And now, Terry and the Pirates. And now, back to the big question. What has happened to April, Burma, and Jude Hennick back in the truck? When we left them, the motor had stopped. The lights had dimmed out. And the hysterical driver had plunged into the snow and darkness. But listen. 
So you had to steal the horses, eh? Let's uh, bar them, Dr. Milton. Hitch them up with this bobsled or whatever Chinese contrivance this is. <laughs> Say, the lantern in this sled doesn't give enough light to see where we are. Oh, I know this road like the palm of my hand. Why, I guess I've driven over it night and day in all directions for the past ten years. It's funny. Meeting up with your way out here in the Kunlung Mountains. Funny? Well, I'm not one to pry into people's affairs, but isn't it strange for two women and three men to be in an army truck bound for Minchow? Well, explain that, Doctor. <laughs> We're going to Minchow, and then fly back to Chongqing or Singapore. Well, my story is not exciting at all. Mrs. Milton and I used to live in Shanghai, then Nanking. But the invaders over in land, and, well, here we are. But you're an American, a doctor. That's quite right. And I'm kept very busy wherever I go. Come along. Get along there. This is no time to pick violence. Get along. Whoa, whoa. You stopping here, Mr. Ryan? Oh, wait, where's the truck? What's that over there? Wait a moment. What you looking for? You finding something? Bring your lantern. Come here a moment. All right. What? What have you found? Oh. Hmm. Where do you suppose this chap came from? Hold the lantern closer, Doc. Yeah. It's our truck driver. I wonder how he got out here. Well, he... He's still alive. Hmm, he's in pretty bad shape, though. Let's get him back in the sled. I'll see what I can do for him. Can't tell how long he's been lying out here. This man must be crazy to start walking into this. How's the driver? Well, I'm doing what I can for him. That isn't any too much. Fingers are frozen. He'll come out of it if he doesn't get any worse. Just keep on going. I'll look after him back here. Come on. Get along, Dobbin. Whatever the name is. Well, there's the bus, Doctor. Yeah. Just over there on the left of the road. Well, it's snowed up all right. No sign of a light. Whoa! 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 Can't hear the motor. Hi, Duke. Duty! Do. Do you hear me? Yeah. Yes, right there, fella. Gee. You go on in and get them quickly. Get them out and get them into the sled. I'll turn around. I want to get this man here back to my house. I'll step on the dock. Everybody all right in the truck, duty? It's as cold as a landlord's heart in there, Pat. And then when the driver ran out on I know, I know. We found him in the snow. Oh, that's good. I was worried about him. Come on, everybody. April, Burma, we got a sled in the dock. And never mind any luggage. The main thing is to get back to Dr. Milton's house and pour Well, Mr. Hennick, Mr. Ryan, you think you'll live again? Yeah, I should say so. Bless, bless. I've had a good breakfast. <sighs> hey, uh, how are all the other patients, Doc? Well, both the girls are exhausted. They're sleeping soundly, and that's what they need. Yeah. Young Terry, well, he's in good health. The found body. He'll be up and around any moment now. But I'm afraid the driver's in bad shape. Any danger of pneumonia with the driver? Yeah, I can't tell. I'll keep him here at the house. Hey, why don't you go on outside and walk around a bit and fill your lungs with fresh air? No. No, maybe not. Maybe you'd better stay where you are. Why? What's the trouble? Well, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we're going to have company. Mr. Heidi Ho has just turned in from the road. Did you say Heidi Ho? Yes, and so did I when I first heard the name. Forgot to tell you, dude. I had a little argument with Heidi Ho last night, a pretty scrapple that lasted over the horses. Didn't want to be using them. Oh, you know. yeah, and I missed it, huh? Yeah, Mr. Ryan, uh, I suggest you move out of the kitchen. There's no use having any more trouble. Oh, sure, sure. I'm a dude. You stay here. If you need any help, just sing out. Yeah. Think there'll be any trouble, Doc? I don't crave any knockdown and drag outs this morning. Morning, Heidi. Morning. Nice day, eh? I've uh, come for my horses, Doctor. Well, fine. Step in. Step in. I've got them out in the barn. They're in pretty good shape, too. Oh, yes. I, I'd like to have you meet a friend of mine, Mr. Hennick. Mr. Heidi. Hi, Heidi. It is well. 
Uh, Mr. Hennick's one of the men taken from the snowbound truck last night. The other passengers are asleep in other parts of the house. Which uh, pleased to make talk with Englishman who took my horses. Well, now, Heidi Ho, a I... man hit me very disagreeable. I walk outside with horses. I... Well, there was some people oh. in trouble. Now, uh, Heidi Ho, I, I suppose this fellow Ryan forgot his manners and the excitement. I'm uh, here for the horses. Our man. Uh, what name of man? Uh, uh, Pat Ryan. He's an American. American Ryan. Yes. His wise name. It is wise fight for me. It bang sense into brain of me. What? I not come here to bow the head to American Ryan, but because American Ryan make me straight about myself. Oh, come now, you are young. I man. speak English much too good. Last night when I fight to stop horses from going, I earn what I have got. Well, just as long as we're all friends, Heidi, oh, that's the big thing. Here, let's shake on uh, it. American way is good. Any way is good. Uh, we'll now get horses, uh, drive to truck, get uh, bag luggage, and return after no trouble. So, I'm good? Well, that's mighty nice of you. Yeah, it sure is. If you don't mind, Heidi, oh, I'll go along with you. Maybe I can lend a hand. You are going, perhaps, I should say, uh, Ming Chow? Hey, that's right on the nose. Oh, please, uh, we not talk of fight last night. Oh, no, no. I mean, uh, yes, we are going to Ming Chow. Then uh, shall honor myself by driving you and friends to Ming Chow. Uh, who is it you would honor there, please? Well, I have a little business to transact with Dr. Moy Ben. Dr. Moy Ben? Yeah. Oh, thousand pardons for all the trouble I have upset you. Dr. Moy Ben. Well, Mr. Henney, you are fortunate to know such a man. Well, I don't know him yet. Oh, there's a man with a great brain. I know him. Now and then I go to Ming Chow, to his laboratory perched up on the mountainside. He's a great scientist. One of China's best. Just now he's working, I believe, on a special type of gas. Something that may revolutionize warfare. Why, I'd say that he... Oh, here I am making a speech when there are other things to do. No, not at all. I'm glad to know about Dr. Ben. I should be proud to touch the hem of his robe. Yes, you go to hiding hole for the baggage, and, and I'll see that the others are made ready for the trip. Well, everything here, Mr. Minute. Doc, John. Certainly looks like Christmas around here, Doc. Yes, Hard to believe that these are the Kunlun Mountains and we're thousands of miles away from home. Yeah. I suppose we'll be in Min Chow for the holidays, not even in a big city. Why, you'd be surprised how wonderful Christmas can be, Mr. Ryan, in a little town, in a cabin, with just a few friends. Well, say, Doc, if I taught Heidi Ho a lesson, well, you and your wife have taught me a lesson. Oh, no, no. I'm not able to teach anybody anything. I know I'm kind of rough around the edges, but... I know a swell fellow when I see one in your age. And so is Mrs. Milton. You two good folks, way out here in the middle of nowhere, helping the people, getting no money, just being good and kind. They say, you have a spirit of Christmas, like I can understand it. God bless you, Doc, for everything. Our friends will soon be on their way to Min Chow. Their lives have been saved. But the wise old Dr. Milton has given Pat Ryan something to think about. But even with the Christmas spirit in their hearts, there's a new adventure awaiting them. I'll explain what I mean in just a moment. Last call, boys and girls. Last call for this great special offer of a thrilling Terry scope. Unless your order is postmarked before midnight tomorrow... It's no Terry scope for you. So get your order in now, right away after the show. Because you'll sure be sorry if you don't get this swell Terry scope with its eight extra special features. For the last time, let me remind you how to get your Terry scope. All you need is two Libby's labels and ten cents. The labels come from delicious Libby's juices that may be in your pantry or icebox right this minute. Libby's tomato juice and Libby's pineapple juice. Get one can of each of those juices, take off the labels, and on the back of one label, print your full name and address, and give your age. Then mail them with a ten-cent piece to Terry in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. Gosh, kids, I sure hope you get your orders in. 
It really makes me feel bad to think how sorry you'll be if you miss out on your last chance to get a Terry scope. Remember, it's just like Terry's, except that it's better. It gives you the secret Chinese code and the Morse code and heaps of other thrilling features. So hurry, hurry, hurry. Mail your order tonight or tomorrow to Terry in care of Libby's Chicago. Tomorrow at midnight is the deadline. In next Monday's transcribed adventure, we'll meet a new person whom you may like or you may dislike. There's no telling. But he'll play an important part in the lives of Terry and his friends. So watch for him and listen closely next Monday, sure. We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on Chumbacasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. BTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.